All right. Good morning. Back for the second war of the season. In this war, four Loki is up against Legion. Um, only four fights this war. Did somehow forget to record my second fight, uh, but I'll kind of go over that again anyway. And, you know, really pretty basically simple. You know, bringing in Lady Deathstrike, Apoc, Silk, you know, and Really glad I was able to bring in Silk. She is very smooth. One of my favorite champions in the contest right now. Um, with that, let's go ahead and jump into the fights. The first fight up here is going to be, you know, Kingpin. Uh, I'm going to be using APOC. Uh, in this fight, you know, the nodes are the second wind. So that if he does um, purify any debuffs or anything like that, he's going to gain a, a chunk of power back. Um or I'm sorry, going to reflect the damage back. Um, and then it's got special burst lockdown. So, you know, I'm going to afflict him with a heal block and armor break. Going to be using APOC. So he's not going to, you know, um, purify, cleanse, whatever you want to call it, any of the debuffs. Going to be a straightforward fight. The plan going into this fight is going to be to just really get, you know, bait his special one. Don't get hit by it. Throw special ones. I did put on the small uh, mutant power boot back boost and uh, special damage boost, you know, just to, to try and make it a little bit quicker. This is an ascended rank five kingpin, 250,000 health. So it's going to be a little bit or a little bit on the slow side, a lot of baiting specials. Um, and really, you know, the whole key here is just don't get hit by his special one. Um, and then we'll, we'll win the fight. So you can see, you know, fairly, Moderately boosted up, you know, 2015-15. Wasn't too worried about the four fights this war. Um, you know, the way I was boosted and all that is just kind of a, you know, to make sure that I get through it clean. So I did throw in a power start one boost just so I get to my special two quicker. And you can see here, my plan is to bait early. Um, I want to get those special ones flowing from him. You know, if I would happen to get backed up into a corner, I want to have some power left that I can work with to, to push them back. Um, nothing worse than, you know, having them right on the edge of two bars of power and being stuck in a corner. So there we go. Special two, and you can see the power back boost gets me back up to about one bar of power. You know, 30 seconds in, you know, taking down about 35% of his health. So we're in good shape there. You know, just going to kind of continue to bait special ones. He gets stingy here a couple times during the fight and, you know, just really slows things down. A little bit but you know it's not a it's not a bad fight this is you know one i'm comfortable with you know in my prep going into it as i was practicing and running through my fights you know the thought was you know i've done this fight i don't know how many times in arena i don't know how many times i've done it in um you know battlegrounds things like that so to me this was just a very very comfortable fight um just a matter of getting him to throw special ones and you can see, you know, it has slowed down a lot, you know, a minute, 30 seconds in, you know, we finally got him below 50% health. At least, you know, the, the specials are doing a lot of damage. I'm not able to really, I could parry heavy to extend those. Did not want to, didn't want to take any unnecessary risks. I only need APOC for this fight. So really the goal is to, you know, as long as APOC came away with 1% health, that's all I needed. You know, took it a little quicker there at the end. I got tired of baiting things out. I knew I was going to push him red, but I also knew I was going to have enough um, in the tank to go ahead and finish him off. So there we go. You know, first fight, fairly clean, fairly straightforward. Um, you know, going in now to what I failed to record, I'm going to pause it right there, is the APOC fight up there. Very, very similar nodes. Um, this one I'm going to be using Lady, would use Lady Deathstrike on. Uh, goal there was I wanted, you know, I was going to use the Power Start one just so I could throw a special two quicker, you know, and get that extra damage in from that. Wasn't really required, you know, to do that. You know, the whole goal on that fight was to just not get really smacked in the face by a special. Wasn't even concerned if I did. I think she can out regen um, his special damage. Didn't want to risk it though. It was a rank five, you know, another 250,000 health. Did go pretty, pretty smooth and pretty flawless. I you know, I think I finished the fight at 90% health and that was just from chip damage. Didn't try to, you know, dex out of any of his specials or anything like that. Wanted to take it nice and easy and, you know, worked 
pretty flawless, you know, went exactly according to plan. Like I said, you know, did finish about 90% health. So, you know, unfortunately did not record. So, you know, we do miss that fight, but I did come out with the full attack bonus. So we'll jump ahead then and we'll go in to my third fight of the war, which is going to be this Red Skull on path six. He is a global defender. Um, so he, you know, is going to put those debuffs on and things like that. Um, or uh, the uh, placebo buffs if I wasn't using a global attacker, uh, which I am. I'm going to be using Silk for this fight. Wasn't too terribly concerned on this fight. I have fought Red Skull many, time, Skull many times. Really, the only thing in this fight that I wanted to make sure that I didn't do is I'd love to bait special ones, you know, if I could. I was going to let Silk take control if I did push him to a special two and let her do the evade. Um, and the other thing was just not hit into his block. You know, I don't want to take that damage. You know, it's going to be a little bit slower because he is going to build the armor ups. But, you know, the, the whole goal and plan was to allow him to do that. Her special two is going to do enough damage that I figured two special twos would finish him off. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. And on this node, you know, he's got the palace build up, which isn't a big deal. He's going to start with one, I think. Um, and that's going to be all he's going to get. He's got energy resistance, you know, specials. He gets prowess, you know, return policy. And there's the global for the sugar pill. So, you know, like I said, going in here, you can see I am going to throw on an invulnerability boost, uh, mainly because I'm going to be using it for the next fight. And I didn't figure this fight would take three minutes. So, you know, might as well, if I'm going to use it for one fight, might as well try and get two out of it. So plan here, four hit combo into heavy. You know, we're going to do that until we get up to close to two bars of power. And then we're going to, you know, not the first one, but the second special will be four hit combo into striker, into four hit combo, into special two. There, kind of glad I put on the... Um, the boost, uh, you know, not sure exactly what happened there, you know, it did take a little bit of damage. And then of course he did knock down my, you know, ability to evade. And you can see there, the damage from silk special two is just unreal. 50% almost on that, that one special. So, you know, we're going to bait out another special one here. If we'll throw it. You know, and at this point, he's going to get a little chunkier. And, you know, he has been healing up some because of the debuffs, unfortunately. You know, and he does get stubborn throwing his special one. And there we go. So we evade that. We're going to do four hit combo into heavy again. That sets us up now for what we're planning to do here, which is four hit combo into striker. Into four hit combo heavy and then special two. And I'm glad this finishes him off. It got a lot closer to turning him red than what I had figured, but more than enough damage to, to clear that up. Uh, let's kind of go back there a little bit and look at that special two again and just see how much damage this thing does. This whole, um, you know, part of her kit, you know, this is kind of the sequence that I love. You, you know, he's at 40% health, you know, four hit combo, start the heavy, cancel into striker. Four hit combo again into heavy, cancel into special two, and just look at this. Man, 52,000 red damage on top of the 20,000 crit. Finishes him off nice and clean, nice and quick. So that fight's done. A little sloppier than what I'd like. You know, I did get hit a couple times there. You know, it does happen. You know, it just it is what it is. You know, Sometimes that happens. That's why I run the invulnerability boost. You know, for this fight, you know, once again, Lady Deathstrike versus um, Bishop. Uh, let's go back there, look at the nodes a little bit. You know, prowess build up unblockable. Shouldn't get prowess using Lady Deathstrike, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Um, you know, if he does, it's only going to be a couple. You know, the band aid solutions, I'm not going to get any, I'm not going to apply any shocks, so I'm not too worried about that. You know, passively special. After the defender throws a special attack, they gain plus one passive prowess. Okay, that's the only thing that he may get if I don't have a heal block on him at the time that he throws his special. You know, this is the fight that I wanted the um, invulnerability boost for, just in case I get hit with a special two. You know, that was kind of the thought going into it. So, you know, let's go ahead and just play this one and we'll kind of watch through it. Just checking the boost, make sure that the invuln hadn't expired. Didn't think that it had. Got a minute left on it. Just really kind of getting my mind ready and set for this fight. And, you know, really goal here, you know, try to 
bait heavies when I get them over a bar of power up to two bars so that I can just get special twos. And you can see here, I was maybe a fraction of a second late. Um, not a big deal. She does heal it up, you know, but I do have to worry about the stupid incinerates that he puts on there. So really just trying to back away without giving up the whole map worth of space on that special one really kind of ticked me off that that happened. You know, their recovery time is so outrageously quick on those. But there we go. You know, recovered, got that first special two off. You know, he's going to throw his special. You know, he does get the prowess because I didn't have a heal block on him at the time. You know, that's the one downside to Lady Deathstrike versus Bishop. I can't finish the five hit combo or in her case, seven hit combo um, because, you know, not wanting him to throw a special one. So you know, it's uh, often won't line up exactly right to be able to get the heal block on him. And if he doesn't throw it right away, you know, it just really kind of makes things a lot slower. And risked it again there, even after getting hit with the first one, you know, to go in there and uh, punish that heavy. You know, was a little concerned about it, but did want to finish it off. And there we go. Finish the fight off. Full attack bonus. You know, kind of going through it. You know, a couple hits and... Whoops. Let's try and get that. There we go. Did take a couple hits. I did, you know, kind of get hit in the face by that special one. A little bit of chip damage. But, once again, last fight of the war. Four fights this war. All that I wanted to do was finish with a full yellow bar or a full attack bonus. We got that done, you know, very, very happy. So, you know, to kind of start off the season, I have two wars, both with four fights, been clean on all of them so far. Very, very happy with the start of the season. Still very early in this war. No telling how it's going to turn out. So, you know, we will kind of see where it goes from there right now. We are trailing a little bit, but, you know, Hopefully that'll turn around and, you know, work itself out as we go through, you know, the rest of the war.